Welcome to Seven Questions Between Seven Mountains, the bite-sized talk show that explores the journey of Bergen's most accomplished local talents that have successfully expanded their work into the international market. Today is the first show ever Woo! In, the, in the history of mankind. Wow. And that is pretty impressive. That's impressive. And uh, together with me, I have the CEO and the founder of the company, MyReads, which is our company. So I know this guy quite a lot. I, we spent every day together. So that means you shouldn't actually ask me these questions. I shouldn't be doing that because no. like, I know everything about you and I, you know. Okay. But it's, 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 it's fine for now. I mean. It's fine for, yeah, yeah. So you're the first guest. Thank you. Welcome. Great pleasure. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, so we're going to have seven questions. Okay. And uh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go. Okay, you know? I'm ready. So, first question. What got you started on your journey? I think the entire journey started when I realized that you can create stuff on computers. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, I started out with a photo and uh, combined that with like <laughs> the first time you could ever scan that into a computer and you could do stuff with the photos and do photoshopping and magic. And um, yeah, I mean, that's probably how it all started. <laughs> pretty crazy, pretty crazy. So you started pretty young. Yeah, I did. All right, that doesn't count as a question though. No, that was just like, okay. Second, does Bergen inspire you? And if so, how? Of course, Bergen inspired me in uh, many ways. But first of all, because it's, I mean, <laughs> it's raining all the time. Yes. Uh, so is there anything else to do than being creative? No. No. I mean, like we normally say in this city, uh, last summer holiday was on a Monday. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. So, uh, I mean, you, you spend a lot of time inside and those few days a year, which is beautiful outside and sunny, inspire you to continue on <laughs> Staying inside for the rest of the year. Funny thing is that you try to tell me that you go out on the sunny days. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, which, is, which is probably a lot. You're, you're, he's still inside yeah. on that sunny day. Definitely. No, but, but Bergen, I mean, there is something about yeah. Bergen. I don't know what it is. Maybe the Seven Mountains just gives you a creative pressure. Uh, and the fact that we, I mean, we had a uh, superstar back in the days, Ole Bull, yep. that was traveling in the world before the world were actually easy accessible. Yeah. And of course, uh, we have uh, Edward Grigg. Yep. So maybe they inspired us to uh, somehow, and, and, and the, the vibe of them are yeah. still in Bergen. Yeah. Know. And I, I guess that's why we, um, we made this uh, talk show, because it's about uh, people from Bergen that has made it international. So maybe it's something in it. Yeah, and of course, I mean, Bergen is not a city, it's actually a, a country in Norway. So we are totally separated from the rest of this. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Mm. So awesome. that gives you uh, freedom and creativity. It does. Definitely. And a lot of gaming. <laughs> uh, question three. What was the biggest fear you've encountered in your career? My biggest fear? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Ah. I mean, first of all, it might be that, uh, I mean, not reaching deadlines is not very fun. Yeah. Uh, but biggest fear is always bankruptcy or having employees that hate their jobs. Because if they hate their jobs, then we are doing something totally wrong. Yeah. Um, but in general, I think that, I mean, um, yeah, I mean... Getting new projects, making sure that we reach the deadlines and always achieve the next level um, is quite important. But all in all, my biggest fear, I, I don't know, it must be something regards to the employees. Yeah. If they are not satisfied, if they are not happy, if they don't have uh, cool enough projects, um, then we are nothing. So, yeah, maybe some something down that line true word from the best ceo <laughs> the worst ceo <laughs> the best. what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> all right um question four what would you have done differently in your career ah uh, 
what would I have done differently? Uh, I think that I would have... I mean, I, I've tried too many directions, maybe. So I would, uh, earlier in life, try to narrow it down. Uh, at the same time, all those different directions give you a lot of broad experience that you can use, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm 37 today, actually. I know, I was going to mention uh, it. Happy and, birthday. And I did envision that I was uh, definitely going to be um, way further ahead than I'm today. So something is, uh, I've done something wrong in... I mean, <laughs> in many ways, I mean, c compared to my vision and my dreams. But at the same time, I mean, maybe just like focus, uh, doing um, less things, which I mean, back in the days I did like music, I did magazines, I, uh, I made creative forums, I did design, photo, whatnot. Yeah. Uh, now we are focusing on purely or, or only virtual. Yeah. Uh, like this amazing studio you guys see here. I mean, so we're at the top of the mountain, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was not suppo supposed to. No. Okay. So uh. No, this is real, guys. This is real. This is. Yeah, yes. It's not virtual. Yes. And I, I, I just. I just. I just love the fireplace. <laughs> yeah. You I know? Mean, it's, it's good. It's good. But, I mean, I, I think that's. I mean, the best answer I can give. I don't know. It's uh, uh, it's hard questions. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next one. I'm ready. You ready? You sure? Mm. All right, five. What inspired you to expand your project internationally? Oh. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the easy one. Um, what insp I don't know if anything inspired me mm. in that way. Uh, it just happened, I think. But at the same time, um, I don't know. That's a good one. That's a tough one. Uh, I think just the fact that when I when I started my career, um, I had a lot of like people that I admired, and most of them were not from here. And also the fact that when I started out in this business, I didn't have any friends within this field at all. So I had to get friends all around the world. Uh, so maybe they have some kind of been able to drag me in different directions there. Uh, but, but I do believe that, I mean, when you have a lot of passion for something, uh, it's not going to be just where you are specific right now. People around the globe will draw attention to it. So mm -hmm. um, in, in our case, I, I don't think we ever planned to go international. Uh, it just kind of happened, yeah. but when we started Maries, uh I think it, like the first project we ever did was for for uh, Al Arabia yeah. in Dubai, yeah. uh, which is kind of uh, funny to think about right now that that's uh, the first project for a Bergen-based company that was founded in Bergen. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> So, question six. Who are the people who influence you to take your career path? Uh, oh, who are your influences? First one, my dad. Yeah. Because uh, he always believed in me and always provided me with uh, the most amazing equipment, even though I damaged some of it and whatnot. Uh, he was always like, no, don't worry. As long as you're happy, we're going to fix this. Um, and but but my my definitely first uh, hero out there was not out there. I thought so, but I uh, I, I did find like a designer called Shetil Vatma online, and everybody was talking about that guy, and he was he was all uh, over like the international uh, design magazines and whatnot. And one day I reached out to him, and I, I was quite nervous. But then I realized that he was actually almost my neighbor. He was living <laughs> in Osana, in Bergen. Uh, and I, got, I, I actually got to know him. And getting kn to know some of your biggest heroes is something that is quite amazing. But he was the first that really inspired me to take this path. Uh, and of course, I mean, in general, in life, I've always been uh, admiring people like Steve Jobs, 
Elon Musk, uh, and what not. Uh, so I don't think I have a lot of designers as, um, what do you say, influencers for my career. But I, I mean, uh, people that uh, dare to do something different. Yeah. Oh, of course, Petter Stordal in, in Norway, he's just amazing. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, that's, that's a great inspiration in many ways also as a leader where, I mean, all the passion and energy mm. he got. But um, yeah, I think, I mean, the first uh, inspiration uh, that really caught my eye was Kjetil Vatna. He's still living in Bergen. I haven't yeah. met him for many years. Uh, but but um, he he really inspired me to to do this. Yeah, I think I'm the same way. I like the you know it's the persons and and the people that really try to or dare yeah to give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's the last question. This is a this is a I'm writing. This is a tough one. Okay. All I'm right. Ready. So, and this is for you actually. It's kind of like. I'm interested in this one. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Last one. If you weren't working in your current field, what would you be doing? Oh, yeah. Ah. I mean, if my mom were uh, supposed to answer this, she would say, like, there's nothing else you can do. <laughs> um, and my, my fiancé as well might be saying that, I mean, whatever you do, Bjorn, I mean, you can do... Uh, your business and, and your computer stuff, but nothing else. So I think I will be quite limited. Uh, but I don't know. I would probably love to be an architect. Architect. Or a car designer. No, 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 no. Uh, you're, now you're doing design stuff. Okay. So like that's, that's still... It needs to be something totally different. Yeah. Uh, you got to go like... Okay. You know. I would say astronaut. <laughs> astronaut? <laughs> yeah. All right. So how would you make that happen? <laughs> uh, first of all, I would probably never get to that part because I don't have like um, the school background. Yeah. Uh, and school is not my best friend. So I would struggle there. But I think, uh, I mean, to get there, I would go through, um, I would go directly to Elon Musk or NASA and figure a way to... to Climb the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> so just like skip education, just yeah. go straight to yeah. them and say, "Hey guys, yeah, I have this solution. Yeah, uh, and you guys need to, um, yeah, uh, trust on me. Yeah, that you have watched some yeah. YouTube videos. I have, yeah, I've, I've watched some YouTube videos, <laughs> and and I know where you guys can go next. All right, so where where and, would next be? I mean, of course, Mars. Yeah, uh, and I would definitely be the first one going up there, though, uh, just to get the position. Right, uh, and I think that that that, that would segue uh, segue me into the industry, and then suddenly I could become an astronaut. All right. Yeah. Wise words. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'd like to thank our guest Bjorn Maurice for sharing his story and talking with us about the exciting new developments from Bergen. And for the people watching from home, thank you so much for joining us. And we hope to see you again on the next episode of Seven Questions Between Seven Mountains. And I just want to add, uh, we're going to release the name of our new guest as soon as we know. And uh, please uh, enter and send us mails about uh, what kind of questions you want us to ask. And maybe your question will be asked. Oh, cool. It's pretty I'm, cool. I'm going to do that. Right, I can just send that in the comments for this. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, no, because I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do this again. Oh, okay. So you, you just, you know, okay. since it's your birthday and okay. all, we should just Thanks. go and party. I yeah, think. yeah, thank you. This. Thanks. Yeah. Good night. <laughs>